ladies and Michael B's of the world, <coughs> welcome back. We're Michael Being it today in uh, Theros Beyond Michael B. We're here with Michael B. This guy's pretty good. When you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, draw a card. It's kind of like a build around. But it's also just 2 2 for 3, which is not that great. This pack isn't that exciting, though. <clears throat> Carry added's nice. I kind of just want to build around this because it's pick one, pick one. <clears throat> pick one, pick one. I was 5 1 with my Red White Enchantment deck on Arena. Wow, humble brags from Super Fritz. And then he had to leave for the Sandwich Mines. Where are you at now? Are you at the Sandwich Mines right now? I'm pack one, pick one. I'm pack one, pick one. <clears throat> oh, I like a Witness of Tomorrow. Seems okay. Well, like a Myers Graft too, but I don't think it's worth going into black. I think this deck wants to be blue red, so we're just gonna take the the three four and stay on color here. Why do they let horses go to hippo camp though? Why would they, should they not? Because that seems horsest. <clears throat> also, one with the stars is pretty good. It's basically just like a conclave tribunal, I guess. One of those four mana jobbies. Four mana jobbies. You know. I'm on duty. Are you just watching me on your telephone? I kept wondering why I was saying horses go to hippocamp, but I finally get it because his name is Hippo hippocamp. I was like, what the hell is going on, man? Michael, hippocamps have been in magic for years, bro. <laughs> oh, I like I like an Elarios enraptured. This guy you gotta kill twice. The legendary creature's so nice, you gotta kill him twice. That's my new commander. Is it? No. Well, I'm like, why would it be? It's terrible. Okay, it's not terrible, but... It's terrible for commander standards. Okay, yes. <clears throat> oh, hey, Hunter. Super Fritz, when are you getting off work, buddy? Mike, say something to dampen the chewing. It's too late. I'm already done. It's already, it's already done. If you guys are watching on YouTube, if you're still with us after all that chewing... I mean, I was chewing with my mouth closed, right? I wasn't like... I wasn't smacking, it was just like... Right? Like, right? Right? Here till 10? Dude, it's only like 4 o'clock. I guess it's probably 5 o'clock where you are. Good lord, my dude. It's like a full shift or something. Jeez. When is Battlefield Enchanted Creature against first strike until end of turn? Plus 2, plus 0. I think it's just final flare. How many creatures are we going to have that we want to sacrifice, though? Could just stay on color. Two. Take the Elite Instructor. Two, you think? Mm -hmm. We're going to have two creatures that I want to sacrifice. Yeah, two. Hmm. Exactly two. It's a quarter after six here. Oh. Actually, it's probably closer to 6.30. Why do you, you ain't got to lie, Craig. Whatever, I'll take the Elite Instructor. None of these cards are pulling me in a different direction right now. Oh, I like a Deny the Divine. Also, I can play that during my opponent's turn. That's all I want to do. All I want to do. What are you doing over there? You petting something? Or are you, you scratching your leg? Scratching my foot. Uh, none of these are. Indomitable Will's not bad. I can play it during their turn and draw a card. You're finally going to take a card that's relevant for that guy? Thrill of Possibility, pretty good, too. I like Thrill. Let's have some fun. Oh, it's five minutes past 420. Blaze it. Blaze it up. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Uh, Vexingal or Stern Dismissal? Hmm. Flyers are good. I agree. Especially when I can cast them during their turn. I like Triumphant Surge. I'm not super committed to the red yet. Also triggers your hippie campy. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of feeling it. Got this two drop that keeps coming back. This guy gave me some problems yesterday. Remember that? He just kept coming back. I was like, God, man, this guy's just going to keep coming back. Infuriate, also a uh, an instant. I think the escape guy is better. Okay. 
Memory Drain. Not ideal. Owen of the Sun. Not terrible. Four mana is a lot for a counterspell. Yeah, but like if you're playing things on their turn anyway, it's usually fine. I bet Hound is good in the sack deck. Too bad that's not what we're playing. Nerd. Got him. Oh, there you go. That's on that's on brand. Alright. This this is alright. I'm okay with this uh these eleven cards so far. I like having one of these guys. Uh fine. You can use that to trigger your hippocampy. It's true. Oh, it's too bad this is an instant. Ooh, Nylea's Intervention. Search for X lands, put them into your hand, or deal twice X damage to each creature with float. 2-1, when you cast your first spell, tap or untap a non-land permanent. I like this better than the stinging lionfish. I like turning them into a fish. This should just be called turn to fish. Isn't that basically what it's called? Yes. Yes, it is. Rob said he thinks he broke standard, so we'll see. We'll see if he broke standard. Hope everyone is doing well. About to head out to make some noodly, twinkly emo music here shortly. <coughs> Dimitri, always appreciate you stopping by, buddy. Lay that Michael B. down. Guys, I, I think, um, I hate to say it, but I think I have to take Michael B. to the vet this week and get him put down. Wow. He hasn't been doing so good. His memory's been failing him. He's been running into a lot of the, uh, like the feet of the, the couches and stuff. Like, he's just been running into those things. I just don't feel like he's got a lot of time left, you know? It's probably true. I like this trickster because putting a counter on every turn is really good if you're able to cast those spells, but I think the dealing four damage is probably just better. I think if I could have multiple of the... This is the third temple I've seen. Ooh, Starlet Mantle's nice. And triggers your camp, boy. That's all I'm looking for, man. Ooh, a second deny the divine. Big fat Cyclops. I think your breath smells like that Korean food, man. That Korean food's got a really notice, like it's got a very distinct smell, you know what I mean? Hmm. It'll probably smell like coffee in a minute. One minute? At the end of the day, as quality of life is important, you're probably, yeah, I mean, it's sometimes you just know it's this time, you know? Should be having this conversation while he's here. This is awkward. It does feel a little awkward. I think it's just... You're supposed to tell us you sent him to a farm. <laughs> well, you know, this is the fourth temple we've seen. I'm going to take this. Like temples are not good. Oh, wow. That's not bad. Power is equal to devotion. Creatures and enchantments you control as spells your opponents cast that target them cost one more. Seems Ideally, good. we can still get an omen, but I think we're taking the <coughs> Kalaf. <coughs> oh, yeah, just give him some peanut butter. That's a good idea. I'll put it in his favorite toy. I'll put it on the inside of his Starbucks, and that way he can... Uh... I love a good peanut butter Starbucks. He does. He really does. It's his favorite. Whenever we get in the car, he gets real excited about our trip to the peanut butter Starbucks. <laughs> There's so many three drops in this format, man. This is my this is my my experience with this format. Another one of these guys. This guy. This gets better with more of these. True. I do want to infuriate. I do want a memory. I think I want a memory drain. Ugh, maybe not. I don't even know. I'll just take the Naya, I guess. Okay, let's... Another three drop. Chew? <clears throat> just blend a banana into his chew toy. God, he would love... Oh, this guy came back? That's great. He would love that. You just squeeze it in there. Yeah, they have Sword of X and Y. No, unfortunately... It's just sort of plus two, plus O. Oh. <clears throat> this guy is towering. I thought he was a merfolk. Well, towering isn't a race, so it's not really... He's not really a... You know what? Isn't it, though? This is why, this is why I'm taking him this week. 
Because you see what I mean? It's just his... His dementia is just getting worse and worse. Plus two, plus I will cost three to equip. Good lord. They don't make them out like they used to. They don't. Hmm. Joe, did you send me decks? I don't think you finalized any decks. I think you sent me the donation, but you didn't send me the, the finalized decks. So I'm like, what am I playing? Who's Joe? Mediocre Magic Man. Oh, man. Can I splash this? No. Shit. Somebody touching my format. What? What does that mean? Somebody touching my spaghetti. It's true. <clears throat> I think our deck might suck. Wait, really? Yeah. Wow. That's weird. This feels kind of dirty. Dirty? Dirty. What's dirty? It's your mom. My mom is dirty? Yeah. That's her other name. Hmm. That's crazy. Hmm. Turn it to a fish. Or don't. Turn it to we have a lot of rules so far. We have this guy. Oh dude, no worries, no worries, man. I'm not I'm not I wasn't sweating it. I just wanted to make sure you knew. So that you weren't like, man, he hasn't said anything yet. Yeah, like we have a good amount of removal actually. So I'm just gonna take this guy. Shoal Kraken. Oh, another Iroas's blessing. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm probably just taking a second one of those. Underworld Fires. Don't care. It's probably this guy, right? This guy seems good. He's solid. He's alright. I like that the 1-1s in this format can't block the tokens. So you never have to worry about like just having to slam this guy into their 1-1s. Take these two dirtles out. Oh, an axe. Impending Doom. Cindiary Oracle, another final flame. Yeah, I'm just taking the annex. Hmm. You're alright. Alright, so yes, yes. You're fine. All of those are fine. Those are all fine. You're kind of meh. Two Nyads. We'll probably cut a Nyad. I don't even know which the, I don't even know what the pick is here. Blame it on the rain. I don't think we're playing any of it. You don't know me. <clears throat> when this guy dies, it deals two damage to a creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. No. Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good then. Just blame it on the rain? There's I Can't Stand the Rain. There's Chocolate Rain. Those are all the rain songs I know. <laughs> what about Purple Rain? Dang it. Got him. I missed that one. <clears throat> okay, we got that memory drain. You know, thunder only happens when it's raining. What does that mean? He doesn't know. It's just a lyric. This is a lyric. It's just a song lyric that I wrote myself. I didn't. I wrote it in my basement with my mommy's basement bargain bathroom brisket. <laughs> Got him. Brisket. Brisket. Oh, the old basement. I don't even remember the rest of the basement brisket. Got him. Blame it on Mike's brisket. We gotta make one cut here. Probably one of these underworld rage hounds. 
All right, let's do it. Let's see if this deck does anything. I doubt it. It's dirtily. Mommy's Basement Brisket Barbecue Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Michael B. Alexa, where does Michael B. live? Sorry, I don't see that trigger frame. Once I say B, she doesn't know. Alexa, where does Michael live? Michael B. lives in the garbage can. <laughs> he sure does. You're so proud of yourself. He sure does live in the garbage can, doesn't he, Alexa? Also, I'm beginning to think the Pioneer deck I was trying to build may just be bad. Hey, buddy. Lots of decks people just try to build are bad. You just got to keep working on them so they're no longer bad. Are you done with that Starbucks already? No, not yet. Still a good amount. Okay. What were you going to say? It looked like you were going to say something. You were like leaning in? I was. Okay. I was going to say all my commander decks are fire. Fire? Yeah. Wow. How many did you come up with yourself? Like completely original? Yeah. Like two. Out of four? Uh, yeah, some aren't built, though. You said some aren't built? Right, they're just a theory. They're just an idea. It's an idea I have. Commander's kind of gotten expensive, in general. Yeah. Gotten expensive? I feel like it's been expensive for years. Yeah, you're, yeah. I mean, that format's... Well, there used to be cards that were a lot cheaper than they were. Like, I remember Mana Crypt was like... 30 bucks at one point. I remember Mana Crypt back in my day. Got out of my way, candies. How about a Force Wolf for $30? Is that knowledge exclusive to your Alexa? Or is, <clears throat> or is it now in the Alexa memory cloud and anybody can ask for Michael? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just exclusive to me. You should share it with the world. I don't think you can do that. Because otherwise, oh, people would be putting too. real, real ridiculous shit on the Alexa. Dang it, I keep saying her name. She didn't respond, so you're good. Also, you got a new one. Yeah, that's the plus. Oh, it's a better one? It's got better sound. Huh. The other one's in my bedroom. It's shorter, though. You don't have to be judgmental, man. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also thicker, so, you know. It's a thick boy. I guess we'll play... I don't know which one we play, actually. Whatever, this is three power. I guess this would also be three power. What the? <clears throat> what would you do for a Mike B? Ba -doom -doom. I'll go to one four. Isn't that special? See, now they're going to penalize me for not playing the double red guy because next turn we can't play both of these unless we draw a red. So. That's my bad. Yeah, it is. I know, man. I know. Look, they get to draw two cards here, too. Greetings from Nuthouse. <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh, I work at a nut superstore called the Nuthouse. That's a good name. There's got to be a place called Nuthouse, right, where they just sell novelty nuts. Novelty nuts. You know, like novelty nuts, Michael? What's a novelty nut? You know, it's like a nut, but it's like with a novelty to it. Like, ooh, look at that nut. That has some novelty to it. You know the, you know what I'm saying? I don't. <sighs> well, you should. I'm going to get rid of this guy. Cause nut it's... house is a mental institution. Well, yes, in general, the nut house is a mental institution, right. But I was just making a, you know what? Yeah, maybe your deck is good. Watch, they're just going to play some ridiculous bullshit this turn that kills everything I have. Damnation? Oh, uh, Damnation! That was my impression of Michael B. It's pretty good. Thank you. Boom, boom. Uh, 
What would you do, Michael B? Well, they gotta play something, right? I guess they don't have to. I do love me some good nuts as Aswell. What's Aswell? Is that the name of your butler? Come here, Aswell. Nuts. <laughs> Get me some candy. We're talking about nuts, and you're gonna bring up candy? Yeah. Bold strategy, What's Michael B. That? I guess nothing. The lionfish done tapped you. It didn't do anything. Well, then why is your guy not untap? Because this guy doesn't untap while the reflection is live. Oh. Oh wow! Look at this. You're gonna un. <clears throat> you're gonna. <clears throat> you're gonna untap this guy. Just for funsies, okay. Huh. This is a two for one. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Oh, you're. Huh. Why Should... wouldn't you block the three one? I don't know, because that, that token was a better value. But I guess this guy untaps now, so. But also, I should have played this guy first, because if he did end up blocking this... He would have got bros. Would have got a token, yeah. Well, two tokens, actually, so it actually turned out well. So he traded a Gift of Strength for that one dude. And they took seven? Is that right? Seems like a lot. I'm no mathematician. I'm no math magician, Michael. We went to go get pizza for lunch at this place called Lucky Slice, and there's a sign on the door that was like, we're closed today for Employee Appreciation Day, and I was like, this is bullshit! And then we just left. Um, These are both cards that reward me from playing things on my opponent's turn, but I don't have anything. So I'm just going to put this guy on top. What would you do? Unlucky slice. Wow. Got him. It's true. That's very... Yeah. All right. So we, we attack with all these guys, right? I think so. I think there's more value in playing these guys now just to puff puff the puff the devotion puff the magic dragon puff the magic devotion lives by the sea let it do for mana spell they're gonna eat that guy you got it well that's unfortunate <laughs> bless me or don't I don't care alright that's fine this guy's got this guy's gonna be escaping soon anyway we got 11 power on board that's a lot yeah that's not gonna do it remember the time you were like our deck is bad and I was like you're stupid this is why you're going to a farm upstate we'll see I'm going around one man <clears throat> well, it's game one, round one, but... Right. That's why I said it was round one. It's game one. It's game one, round one. Got oh, me. wait. Yeah. I got you. I mean, we're still in round one. You're not wrong. But it feels like you were trying to emphasize I mean, that yeah. it was the end I, of round I one. I got him confused. Yeah. I woke up and said something not terribly negative. A new day has dawned. Block, I, I'm glad to hear it, buddy. I'm glad to hear it. I just want you to enjoy more things. That's all I want. And <laughs> said something not terribly negative. I love it. I love it. Puff the magic, Michael B. We used to call him Michael Michael B. Puff because of all the cannabis he used to 
inject. Used to. How many marijuanas did you inject today, Michael? Seven. That's too many, man. This is why he's got to go upstate as well, because he's just... He's not good for anybody in this state. <laughs> yeah, he's got a little lionfish. I could pick nits, but yeah, you could. But I would make fun of you, because I think that's a dumb thing to do. Pick nits about slabbing a comic? What is there to nitpick about that? I don't know. I don't understand it. It just makes your comic be worth money. Yeah. It's like if you have something nice and you want to keep it that way. When I came in here, you said I would be the one streaming. Now, how much marijuana did you smoke? <clears throat> don't worry about it, Christopher. It's not important. Are they going to tap my guy down? Oh, wow. This is so, so tappy. The fish has a wish. What is it? Just tap your creature. It came true. I don't have to read it though. Like once you read the story once, you're like, okay, cool. I read this. Like also you can just get it digitally for, you can also get it digitally or you can get it in an actual collection. But like at a certain point when a comic book is 60 years old, like you should probably preserve it because paper is brittle. Like, it's not going to last that much longer if you don't take care of it. Like, it's not meant to be read over and over and over because that's literally just going to deteriorate. I would much rather know in like 20 years the comic book is still going to be in the same condition and worth something than like not being able to read this one particular 20 page story from 1960. But, yeah, but if you read your books hundreds of times, then you might as well just get them digitally because then you're not going to ruin them by doing so. Uh, I'll take two here. Also, technically, you can still play with slab magic cards. You just head to a deck that's all all in slabs. Yeah, just get them all slabbed. Everybody knows that. <clears throat> Puff the magic, Michael B. Michael B. All day. Singing in the. That'll be easy to shuffle too. Exactly. <laughs> it's true. And his name is Michael B. I saw someone play a game of competitive commander and they were using all top loaders for their cards. No, that part, that's a Jacob that's a Jacob Nakarado thing to do. And yeah, it was very, get it was out very of here, ridiculous. Dude. Just get <clears throat> out of here. I mean, I understand you want to protect your cards, but like double sleeve is probably fine. Huh. I um how do you shuffle 100 top loaders? Uh, you have to have like a a box to do it with. You gotta have it's pretty ridiculous. Thick arms. That too. You gotta have them biceps. God, another 2 5, huh? How do you beat a 2 5, man? It's impossible. I guess you just fly over it. Goodbye, ho. I want both of these. Um, then I suggest you take both of them. I'm going to. You can't stop me. I'm not your. Thrifty nickel boy. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Why did at he all? say that? Not even a little bit. It makes a little bit of sense. Doesn't. A little bit. I want to see someone do a bridge shuffle with a hundred top loaders. That that's literally impossible. Is it? Goodbye, horses. Are they flying over you? Yeah. What does this do? Three, two, for four. Return up to one target enchantment you control. That seems terrible. Goodbye, horses. They're flying over you. You know that song? Yes. I mean, Gamma set ruined a savanna in a sleeve and a top loader with a spilled drink. So fat lot of good top loaders. <laughs> Oh man! Oh yeah, Shimmering Chimera is great if you have like the any of the omens in play, but yeah, or the Iroh's blessing. We're in a dual land. That's rough. But considering they do not, and they just have like creatures that they're gonna have to return. Goodbye. I'm trying to watch the stream and all these people keep making me do work and make sandwiches. What's that about? What is that about?
Alright, I'm just gonna kill it. Don't have Starlight's aura. Starlight Mantle. Oh, you did. That's pretty cool. <sighs> of course, that's one of your two cards. Why wouldn't it be? That was fun. Well, that's hard to deal with, I guess. Is it a May ability? No, it's not. No, it says that the baby rep keep return up to up to oh, it's up to one. Okay, so that's basically a May ability, yeah, sure. I was like, no, it ain't. It does not say May on here. This guy ain't doing me any favors. He's about to do you a huge favor. Well, no, because they're just gonna do the Starlet Mantle that they just played, so. Oh. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it's obnoxious. Missed my local pizzeria delivery time, so now doing night shift with... Oh, God, that's yikes. That is a sad day. Well, they only have one card in hand, and our top deck is what? We don't know, because the two cards were... It's not terrible. I think we're just holding back here. We're not winning this race. <sighs> but now if they bounce the Starlet Mantle, we can just counter it, so... I guess that doesn't really do much. Hmm. Oh, the old main phase Omen of the Hunt. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Yeah, that keto potato salad looked pretty delicious, man. Okay, sure. So you know one of the two cards in your hand. Oh, we know the only card in your hand now. They put both cards on top of their library, so that's something. All right. Now I feel like we're doing okay. Well, that's not what we're looking for. That's not something that props can fix. That's going to be a little harder to... Can we draw the hippo camp? Because that'd be great, because both of our cards will trigger. Wait, what? Do they not know it's a May ability? They have to, because they didn't before. No, they did every time. They always bounce the Starlet Mantle every turn so far. Oh. Nah, bro. That's gonna be a little hard to fix. I got my rat fun from my internal rat service. I'm blowing it all on highlighted messages. Internal rat service? Oh, man. The IRS be crazy. I'm just going to counter everything you have now. This is what you get for messing with the I, the internal rat service. Oh, that's going to be a little bitty boops. Let's get them in there. The problem is they have the 2-5, and if we get back our Underworld Rage machine, Underworld Rage against the machine machine, then it just has to ram into their 2-5. Which I don't think is great. I'll pass. I suppose. But now they do have to like... Oh my god, I hope they don't know it's a main ability, dude. There's no reason they would have bounced their 2-5, right? Oh, what? That's weird. Why did you know it? What? You get your lionfish back? Sure. Is the International Women's Day Secret Lair worth it, do you think? I think the arts on those are pretty cool. I mean, what's <clears throat> depends on what your definition of worth it is. If you like it and you want it, then yeah, it's definitely worth it. 
If you don't want it, then no, it's not worth it. Why aren't they playing their... Wait. That's the first one. Why aren't they playing? Why aren't they replaying this guy? Wait, where did that guy go? They only have one card in hand. It's Starlet Mantle, right? Highlight a message. This message is for Mike B. Hmm. Did they discard it? I'm very confused. Oh, we countered it. You use your counter spell on it. That's a good point. That is what I did. Oh, that's why it's over here. I couldn't. I was like, "Where did it go?" Wow, there's a lot going on, guys. Happy birthday, Mike B. Thank you. Happy birthday, Schnickledy Nichols. You're just saying nonsense now. That's your real name. Don't pretend like it's not. Hey, man. Don't tell people my real name. I, I told you. That's the secret. That's my secret name. I should have played this last turn now that I know they didn't have the other dude. That's stupid. That's going to cost us. That's going to be a lot harder to fix. It's going to be. Starlet Mantle in this Shimmer, Shimmer Wing Chimera is pretty obnoxious, too. Oh, man, look at all the happy birthday Mike B messages. Guys, today is actually Mike B's birthday. Can we get a happy no, birthday for Mike B not. in the chat or in, like, the YouTube comments, guys? That is not true. I, I make sure to show him all the comments that he gets just so you guys know. <clears throat> so he's not just, like – so they're definitely – he definitely sees the, the comments and he appreciates them. Usually Mike is pretty rude because he gets really self-conscious about his birthday. But, um, you know, I think – wait, they didn't bounce the mantle? That's fascinating. Oh, they bounced the Omen of the Dead instead. That's good. Good for them. That will certainly be a little harder to fix. And they're gonna get that 2-5 bird. Hey, man. Yes, Michael. You know the, the Donate Commander thing? Yeah. There's like 25 cards coming my way. That's insane. That's like... That's a quarter of a deck, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. They don't get their thing now anymore. That's pretty good. God, I wish this guy didn't cost four mana to friggin' scry here. Shut Yo, up no take my money. What? Nifty Chris don't intend a happy birthday, Michael Barbobbly Debu. <laughs> God. Chris is wonderful, man. Chris is just... Happy happy birthday, Michael B. <laughs> happy birthday, Bucks. Yeah, No Birds is donating. No uh, Birds? Franconic Disciple and Breath Hall. Breath Hall? Yeah. You mean Brett Hall? The actual person who is named Brett that might, Hall? That might be the, yeah. That's wow, probably, yeah. that's amazing. You don't even know Brett's name, and he like literally lives in Florida with us. Breath Hall and No Birds? I don't think you got a single person's name well, right. Well, it's no beats, but I call them no birds because we've done that before. No, maybe I have. You yeah. can't take on my no birds. Yeah, don't tell me what to do. Well, I didn't. I didn't actually tell you what to do. Yeah, but you implied it. Also, man, why haven't you been scrying? Because it costs four mana. I literally just played this guy last turn. Oh, okay. I thought he was on the board for a while. I thought he was on the board for a while. I thought he was on the board for a while. That's how you sound. You sound like a chicken with a with a disorder. Uh, oh, the good old chicken disorder? Yeah. Knew it. I'm sorry that you sound that way. You're not sorry. This is really obnoxious. This card's single-handedly like winning them this game. I guess we got Scry 2. Oh, there's only Scry 1? Oh, that's so much worse. Also, if this was spells or abilities... It'd be much better because then they couldn't just toss this idiot. Tap our dude. They have to pay the mana and they couldn't have last turn. I feel like we're almost dead here. We're one tapped flyer away from being dead. Sure.
Hey, man. Look, I want you to witness tomorrow, man. As a rasta chicken. It's gonna be a little harder to fix. Let's get our scry on. Give me a removal spell for this stupid bird. Nope, you can go. Why do they kill you? Because they can't. Why not? How can they kill me? You explain to me how they can they kill me. They play the enchantment and tap your flyer and attack you for three, right? How does that work? Oh, it's only the f first spell. During each opponent's, the opponent's turn. Opponent's turn. Oh. There you go, guys. He figured it out. I thought that fish was better. <clears throat> We're gonna make it a right tonight, tonight, tonight. Yep, they just gained two to have a flyer return. It's real good. Just looking for a way to kill this uh, this one bird. That's all I need. They're just getting back every creature in their deck, so that's. Oh, I guess they're out of creatures to get back, so. I guess that's something. Do I want to attack my 7-3? They just block with their 1-1 their one, one now. Yeah. That seems worse than not doing that. I guess you just keep bouncing the omen, because YOLO. YOLO's my favorite color. Oh, yeah, this guy, huh? What about Yorange? I love a good Yorange. No, it's fine block. Um, one, two, three, four. Put you on the bottom. Oh, we did it. Shankery. Oh, wait. Oh, it loses, it loses all other card types. Well, that doesn't do it. That's actually... I guess it's fine as... They just bounce like... Enchanted permanence is enchantment. So, yeah, they just bounce whatever we put it on. Because, because yeah it's actually terrible against this card that's comical it's real bad oh they can just keep hitting the viper back now too that's kind of obnoxious yep this whole matchup is really annoying oh boy this is exhausting I'm exhaust. I'm 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 exhausted. At least we get to scry again. I guess we got that going for us. I'll bounce my omen of the dead again. Okay. You got it. <sighs> my kingdom for a deal two damage or a deal four damage. My whole kingdom. You can have the whole thing. I don't even care anymore. The whole thing? Yeah, it's all yours. Just for me? Yeah, just for you, my Wow. Dear. No, no, no. Now you don't get it anymore. Dang. How many Nyx Born Sea Guards are you playing? Four? You got the full set of these two fives? I think we're losing. They still can't do anything. I just don't know how we get out of this pickle. Right there, that's how. I roast his blessing. One, two, three. Yeah, just put it on you. Unless you, unless your other card is Starlit Mantle. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm just so tired. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Thanks.
incredible. Absolutely incredible top deck. I mean, they do have Omen, actually, so they could have just gotten it back. That's a good point, but... Sure. I mean, they have, like, four minutes less than us, so... I mean, the fact that this turns something into an enchantment so that it can just bounce that creature with this and then replay it is pretty fucking comical. Oh, boy. Yep. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. My time is more valuable than hoping they, like, waste enough time in this game. I... Destroy target chicken. I don't actually hate the counterspell here. Yeah, they can't bounce the Chimera, but who cares about that? Like the Chimera's the the Chimera as a creature isn't the problem. The Chimera as a as a recurring ability is the problem. Like getting a three two flyer off the board when they still have infinite value is not really the the solution I'm looking for. Well, at least I'm an idiot. Well, I knew that. Yeah, but I figured I'd tell you again. Oh, any reason? Nope. Just, just is just just you know just. Why are you you just said that randomly out of nowhere? Yeah. With no context, at least I'm an idiot. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. What'd you do? No, I didn't do anything. I feel like you realized something. Okay, I was thinking about on the back on the bread hall thing, and I was like, oh. Did you call him Brethal? Yeah. <laughs> that was like a Twitch name. Nope, that's just actually his name, Brett Hall. I'm like, you're like, why did I call him Brethal? Just the, the, the deck that broke... The format? Yeah, this is the standard that Rob made that broke the format. Did, did I submit? Did I not submit? Oh, he did post it. Cool. Sorry, guys. I could have sworn I submitted. We got this hippo camp into a counter spell. That's all I ever wanted. I want you back banana. You know that song? Yes. You know who sings it? My dad. No. He doesn't? No, he does. I was just kidding. Don't play anything good. That's not anything good. Breath all. <laughs> okay, you got it. I just want to see what they'd do. Oh man, they got delicious glass pies. Delicious glass pies? Are you talking mm -hmm. about Castle Garenbrig? Yeah. Yeah. This deck does look sweet. Their glass pies are second to none. Are they not doing anything here? I'm not sure if it breaks the format, but it does look cool. 
Oh, guys, I've got a big delicious glass pies. No way am I taking down my Deny the Divine. Are you just going to kill my guy? I don't care about all that. Next time we can play Anax and still keep up Thank Deny you. the Divisal. CJ, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. That's all CJ Willie. You know CJ Willie. The 74th of his name. It's true. <clears throat> it's a long line of CJ Willies. So, 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 so CJ Willy. Beer, beer, beer. I feel like I still need that on the soundboard because I make the sound too much on my own. The air horn sound? Yeah. Like, it's very obvious what I'm doing right now, so. But they gotta play something. Are you gonna scry? Yes, you are scrying today. Man, I feel like Magic's really like to push scry abilities, but never draw card abilities. Well, drawing a card is a lot stronger than scrying, my dude. That's true. Also, my guy has draw cards, so I don't know what your problem is. Yeah, but you gotta play on their turn. It's very specific. Buddy, I wanna do that. Okay. You just wait. I don't care about that guy. At least I don't think I do. He does not strike me as a dude I care about. Ooh. Alright, so... Just gonna keep passing here. Cause I want you back. Maybe they're like, I don't think he has a counterspell anymore. Wow, triple Nexus Wardens. That's something right there. All right. You want to smell my dillweed? Give that, give that dillweed a smell, bro. Oh, so strong. It's so good, though. It is pretty good. It's such a good grass-cut flavor scent it just smells like it just smells like fresh cut grass Everybody. Yep, this is the one that's got to go. Rock your body. Yeah. Michael B. All day. Michael B. All day? All day, dude. Dang. Michael B. All day. Michael B. All night. All day, all night. Every day. Michael B. I gotta block out that tiny bit of light coming through the blinds? You mean like on my face? That's impossible. It's never happening. Oh man, they're gonna pump their guy too? Wow, that's amazing. Good for you. <laughs> Just went, yeah! That's amazing, dude. That's amazing. Michael B's back. All right. Do you guys know Michael B's back? <laughs> it's actual hilarious. Michael B, 100 years, Michael B. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Oh, not my hippo camp. God, this is a lot of creatures that I have to deal with somehow. And I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I wish I had my hippocamp, yeah. I'm 
Triple one four is no joke. I think we're gonna lose. Well, with that attitude. Well. Yes. What's that noise you just made with your mouth? With your face? With your mouth face? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've drawn eleven lands. And one, two, three, four, five, five cards. Six cards. It's good. It's very good. It's probably the best, uh, best configuration you can ask for. So one, two, they have exactly four power of reach, which is pretty unfortunate, but I guess we can actually try to find something. Like we got a lot of mana and this Witness of Tomorrow could actually do some, do some work. Michael doesn't care. He's too busy scrolling on the internet. That guy does absolutely nothing. Well, maybe not right now. I'll keep that. It's better than a random card on the top of your deck, I'm pretty sure. It's better than a random <clears throat> card on the top of my deck. Just going to pass here. I want to play it during their turn so my arena trickster can get a counter. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, oh, that card too, wow. Huh? Jesus. Fucking mono rares over here. We got Ashiok. We got E2 Extinction. Yep. Cool. Uh, oh, they're at 42 life as well, because they gained 6, 12, uh, 18, 24, I guess, and then they lost 2 life somewhere. Okay, that's hilarious. I didn't even notice the sunglasses. Kill a nightmare? What does that what does that do? They have one card in hand. Kicks dirt. <laughs> oh, biscuits. We have a lot of action here. I just don't know. I just don't care about the fish either. Like, if they're out of gas, they're out of gas. I mean, the Iroh Blessing can deal 4 damage to Ashiok, which could be extremely relevant. I think this has to go on here because we want to have four power in order to kill the. Yeah, I think we just want to get rid of two of these guys. Oh, 
And Planeswalkers are pretty messed up and limited. Yeah, they're still all you. right. Kid Cabbage with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. All right, so we just get to eat all of these guys? I mean, unless your last card is... Nope. All right. All right, that's actually a good position for us. I guess they could try to bounce this and we get to Spirit Mantle, but that's pretty good. Yeah, that's... I mean, we can't do anything about that. That's fine. Their deck is very good. Sure. So Ashiox on the two-turn clock. Okay, one turn clock, I guess. None of these guys have float. Um... Probably that one because it can get bigger. Well, this one's got more toughness, though. That's true. I don't know. I don't know if it matters either way, but we want to have more five power guys, I think. But like, we could just kill Ashiok now, or we can actually kill this. I think we're just killing the Ashiok. They're at forty-two life, but they have four minutes on the clock, so it's like, are we just gonna win this game due to time? I don't know. Next time on find out next time. Four minutes time. is a decent amount of time, though. Right, but if we're ahead, it doesn't matter. Like, <clears throat> and bottom. We just have so much mana that I don't even mind doing this during the upkeep. If it keeps me from drawing more lands. Um, I'm tempted to just alpha here because Spirit Mantle makes these guys twos. Seems fine. Yep, that mills us for four. I'm probably going to put these guys in front and just kill them both. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. If only I had one more power. Oh, they have one card. We have none. <clears throat> At least the oath, the omen of what's his name can't get back Ashiok, and they can only have. <laughs> Fucking mono rares dot deck over here, dude. Come on. All right. Unbelievable. Sure. Any non land is fine. Some of these guys have flying. Cool. Mantle on hero? Why? What's the difference? Aren't they both five fives? <sighs> cool. I guess we're just trying to time you out now. Oh, because it gets the plus one, plus one. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. That's not... Oh, that's actually great here. I'm actually just going to play it now because I don't want them to have any tricks. We don't have any, like, during their turn spells, so. All right, well, just going to pass because you got a 6-9. Sure. Yield until end step. Huh. 
<laughs> That's pretty good, actually. All right. Uh, you can go on the bottom and you can go on top. Um, bounce you, bounce you, and bounce you. I don't know if we're actually attacking here, though. Just doesn't seem, like, worth it. <laughs> like, I don't think we're winning due to damage, so. Probably not. Sure. None of your creatures are that great, except for your Eutro Eutropia. Yeah. Surprisingly, the 2-5 is pretty good here. Is that a second lionfish? No, it's the one I bounced. Might as well have six here. I have nothing to play, so. You gave this guy flying. On a turn, it cannot attack. I don't know what's going Brilliant. on anymore. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I think we're both in uh, play as fast as you can mode. So, oh, we have six cards though, so we're probably yeah. gonna get decked first. Yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen here. Yep. All right. So we're gonna lose to decking. They're gonna have a minute on the clock still. So that sucks. I don't care anymore. <laughs> like, you can have the fucking win. Yeah, like... I mean, if your six or eight deck has to win on time, and or, or by decking me, then, like... Go for it. Yeah, chug that Starbucks, man. Chug it, man. I've been drinking on this for like an hour. I've been drinking on this for an hour. Now we're playing Bogart, man. He does what a Bogart can. Does he? Mm-hmm. Bogart man, Bogart man, doing the things that a Bogart can. What's he like? It's not important, Bogart man. Is he a rock or is he a string? When he's Michael B all day, singing a song, dancing a thing, Michael B, and he lives in the tree. I thought that was I thought that was good. I thought that no, was pretty good. Were, Solid. Were poignant. Yeah, I think they're culturally relevant. Bogart man. Oh, that was a good draw. Is he a rock or is he a string? He's a turtle with a wig. You ever seen a turtle with a wig, man? 
Don't no. counter this. Oh, I fucking hate this format. It's actual trash. <laughs> I've not seen a turtle of the wig. <clears throat> One day you will. I would like to, but you know. You really gotta believe. This format is actual trash. <laughs> you ready? This guy's gonna want to see this guy get countered too. Want to see me counter your creature? Want to see me do it again? <laughs> I don't. I don't actually want to see that. Guess I'm going to see it again. Wow. Oh my god, wow. Fucking cool, dude. I'm having a good time. Another three color deck. Yep. You know what? I guess I'll attack first. So that when they counter our guy a third time, I've at least dealt two damage first, so I have the moral victory. <sighs> three for three, huh? Oh, just that idiot? Cool. If only I could kill that guy with my four damage spell or my two damage spell. It's okay, guys. It's only another rare. Format defined by rares. I haven't disliked the draft format this much in a while. I thought Throne of Eldraine was a blast. Uh, what was before Throne? Like 2020? Yeah. I didn't really care about so. that, I guess. And then what was before that? Ravnica? All the Ravnicas were good. This format just seems like just just hot trash. It's just not that. I just keep like it's just everyone has rares. It's unreal. Like I'm like, why do you have all these rares that are just like so and hard to deal we with? We open like all uh, tap lands. <laughs> like the four temples, four temple dot dot draft. All right, they're just taking five, I guess. They got five on it. Starlit Mantle. I will counter your spell with a card that's not a true counter spell, but instead <laughs> it is a protective enchantment. And final death, sure. I don't whatever. Whatever, my dude. Still got him. Can you please stop making that noise? No. It's terrible. Is it really? It's the worst. Oh, that's too bad, man. I have another deny the d divine the divine denied. Oh, they didn't. All right. Well, I guess we're just getting in there now. And just to be clear, some people are going to be like, well, you still won the game. Why are you complaining about the rest? It's not about like whether you win or lose the game. It's about the variance level just goes through the roof once you... Uh, once you start introducing like really powerful rares that you have to like, that you're forced to find an answer to deal with, just because like happen. And the to, format like, does not have a lot of removal. It, that's right. That's or, or it's like deal four, deal deal two, and then like Ashiok goes to five, and you're like, oh, I can't deal with that. <laughs> Nobody knows Michael B. Man. Nobody knows the Michael B. Man. Nobody cared about the Michael B. man until I put on the mask. <laughs> Did you guys know this isn't Michael B.'s real face? He actually cut off a man's face when he was in the war, and he, he just he just wears it ever since. Which war? Exactly. <laughs> What's happening right now? Are you just doing some kind of shenanigans? Shenanigans. What's that restaurant you like with the 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 mozzarella sticks and all the goofy shit on the walls? Oh, it's shenanigans. Exactly. Look, we won the game against Thrax. Double counter your first two plays. Nobody knows Michael B. Man. Knees, knees. You like that knees song? Yeah, man, it's good. Yeah, man. 
That band's good. The Knees Band. You like it when I call them the Knees Band? <laughs> Uh, it's a good name I kind of just want this other underworld hound because it didn't seem like they had a lot to deal with it plus it gets under all those those countery boys just 41 it I'm down buddy you don't ever have to tell me twice Don't have to tell me twice. Don't I, though? Don't have to talk about rice. No one thought you did, though. No one was like, <laughs> do I have to talk about rice? What's there to do? got flying. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, it deals one damage to each opponent, and you scry one. Seems pretty good. So when Tyler the Creator posed the question of who that boy, it was Mike the whole time. Probably. Oh, look. That's an expensive rare. Not really, is it? I don't know what that guy goes for, I actually. I it's been going up. I mean, I, mean, I hope tomorrow it gets banned. Like every format. I would get banned in, banned in Commander. It's pretty obnoxious. You're pretty obnoxious. Thank you. Got him. I feel like any card that says win the game on it should just be banned in Commander. Right, because someone's going to break it. Right. There's too many cards available to not be breaking things. There's so many. There's Thassa's Oracle. There's Laboratory Maniac. There's the new Jace. Uh, there's a lot more that are banned, but still. There's the Cheese Stands Alone. The Cheese Stands Alone. God, that's a good one. I don't know if you're being serious, but that is a card. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, I'm dang. So, I'm guessing it's from an unset. What the fuck is this? The cheese stands alone, man. If you control no cards in play other than the cheese stands alone and you have no cards in hand, you win the game. It stands alone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me, man? Uh, that's fine. All this is fine. It stands alone, Michael. Like, there's this YouTube channel that uh, they do exclusive content for, like, Competitive Commander. And they have, the, like, they'll do, like, a weekly video where it's, like, a pod of four people playing. And, like, three out of the four decks almost every time are Thassa's Oracle decks. <laughs> it's literally just... Yikes. Because you only need two cards to play it. And they're not even, like, bad cards. It's not pretty bad. You sound pretty bad. Damn. Got him. Joke's on you. Cheese stands alone, Michael. Yeah, joke is on you that the juice stands alone. The juice stands alone? Yeah, the juice. Hmm. Did you know about my juice? I don't know anything about your juice. <laughs> Thankfully. Hashtag ban flash. Uh, yeah, that'd probably be a good ban too. Oh boy. Is it a rock or is it a stick? Everybody knows that Mike's made of bricks. Nobody knows Michael B. Man. They have this guy's flash and he chose to do it at, at sorcery speed. That's wild, man. That's just wild. That guy's wild, wild and out. Is that what they say? Wild and out. So yeah, kids? man. Cool. That's he's doing that. Is it a rock, or is it a stick? His name's Michael B. Today. These songs I'm singing are not very good, guys. They're real dumb. Wow. See, that's hurtful. <laughs> Sorry, but it's true. I want you to show me the way. When he's underwater, does he get wet? Or 
Does the water get him instead? Nobody knows. What the hell are you talking about? Wow. <laughs> also, this one's a classic. I think we've seen something similar to this before, but... Hmm. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> Michael, but aren't you glad this your birthday has inspired an entire wave of... God, I'm so glad. It's really fun, right? Everybody has a good time. It, how many people get this kind of attention? You know what I mean? The answer, Michael B., is none. Oh, they're going to counter this. You ready? Okay, sure. I'll take a point. You can scry. Does the Michael B. get him instead? Nobody knows. Michael B., man. What's more likely, Band Flash or Band Thracios? Who's Thracios? I don't know what Thracios is. I don't even know what that is. Oh, Thracios Triton Hero? The oh. two drop partner commander? Uh, I ain't yeah. even heard of Thracios. I don't think so. One, three for two. Scry one, a real top card alive. If it's a land, put it on the battlefield tapped. Otherwise, draw a card. Is that guy real strong? Well, if you have infinite mana, you draw your deck. And two, he has partner, so you can partner with it. A different one to get a bunch of color identities. So he's pretty, he's, he's like tier one. That's wild. I don't think they need to blame Flash. I think they just need to ban Passes Oracle and the new Jace. Man, Leovold's banning Commander. <laughs> like that format. I'll never play it. <laughs> Just kidding. I knew Leovold was banned because he's absolutely busted in Commander. Well, the only problem... The, the problem with him isn't really just himself. It's that you can play wheels with him. And then... That's fun for no one. Right. You draw seven and no one draw, else draws anything. Yeah. Every, well, I guess they just draw one. Ooh. 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 Ooh-wee, Rick. Nice turtle. Flash Hog was the best deck even before Thrasses or Thrasses Oracle. Thrasses Oracle? Yeah, but like now the Thrasses Oracle deck like doesn't even need Flash Hulk anymore. You can probably play both. A lot of people do, but now they don't need a man Ocean Thief. He's pretty fragile. Playing against Leavold was way more fun than all the infinite combos. Um, I mean, a lot of the Leavold decks had combos in them, so. Is your... Shoot my own dude. Also, like... Oh, my God. That's not it. That's an ability not spell. Oh, that was the worst. Wow. Well, that was unfortunate. I thought it would trigger my guy. They would take an extra two, and this guy would be five, so it would actually trade with this guy. But it, it's not a spell or ability. It's just a spell, right? Yeah, that's pretty bad. No one cares, though. Everybody's I, talking however, about Commander hate in infinite chat, combos so. in EDH. Let me sit there for three plus hour games. Yeah, I don't really want a game to go that long. I think combos are fine if they're not too optimized. I, I think it just depends on your pod. Oh, well, at least we still win the game. Like, what your power levels are. Th I don't... All right, well... What are you talking about people's pods for, Michael? What is that noise? Do you hear that noise? I did. I don't what know is that? I have no idea. I have no idea what that noise is. It sounds like they're opening a metal... Like a, a, a metal cell. I mean, Paradox Engine didn't hurt the format. I think it made it more unique. Like, that was just too strong of a card. It's just too easy to break. And you can fit it in almost every deck. I 
I think we're keeping this. We're on the draw. What is that noise? I feel like someone's bending metal. It does. It sounds like a metal, like a, a cell door scratching against the floor. Ding, 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 ding. They mold to five. That's got to be a good sign, right? Sure. On the play, no less. Two drop. That's a six drop. That's the most expensive card in the deck. Come on, we need to land. One land off the tippity top. Oh, God, we're so good at this game. You know what? I'll allow it. Paradox Engine Band killed Sissé. Which Sissé? The one that... Which one? Which one do you think it killed? I don't know. Exactly. Let's get rid of... Probably see God's. I would start off by asking what kind of game do we want? That way I know if we're here destroying lands or if we're gonna play giant spiders. Yeah, I think that's true. If you're playing against an unknown pod, you should ask, like, hey, what's our power level gonna be? And I think you should have What kind of game we playing here? I think you should have decks of different power levels so you can have a fun game. If everyone's trying to win on turn two, then bring your one on turn two deck. If everyone's just trying to have a good old game, bring your good old game deck. This is my good old game deck. Well, Here's hoping this doesn't just die and then it'll play like a big fat. Okay, that's fine. Hey, that was a good draw. The land? Yeah. I agree. Ironically, I agree. I'm going to kill this lamp pad. So many fishes in this format. There's a lot of fishes. This is not a fish, though. I don't think there's no fish. But a lamp pad is a kind of fish, isn't it? A lamp pad? Yeah. I thought that was a kind of fish. These are nymphs of the underworld, Michael. Oh. God, you don't know anything about fish, do you? <laughs> you don't know anything about underworld nymphs, do you, Michael? Clearly. Boom, 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 boom. Was this exile for three? Jeez. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. No, sir. You mean lamprey. Wow, that's true. Lamprey, that is what I mean. Yeah. Isn't a lamp pad a fish? Well, no, you're thinking of lamprey. And also, that's not a fish. So They're a, they live in the sea. Wow, that's so. This is so. This is a fish then. Their name Michael B. No, Michael B. lives in the garbage can. I also live under the sea and in a tree. So well, you you get around. Boom, 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 boom. Now we can slow down on the lands. Can we? They have one card in hand. I'm pretty sure I just want to turn this dude into a into a dang fish. Like I turned a turtle into a fit. What? 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 No, 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 no. You know that song? That's a no, dude. Don't even. 
We're just good. This is a this is the worst counter war I've ever seen. He's still blocked just to get you. <clears throat> I don't know if he got me though. Oh, he got you. Fuck! Did he really? Yeah, man. Dang. I feel gotten. I feel seen right now. All right, we're doing it. Oh, get back in there. You had it right the first time. That's kind of rude. It's a little rude. Tell Rob Rob sent me. What does that even mean? Robslamps.com. Is that a real <coughs> is that a real website that you made? Not yet. But it will be. It will be. When will it be? Who knows, man? When will it be knocking at my door? You know that song? The When yes. Will It Be song? Those feelings again. Remember that one time you stood in an elevator and coughed? It was a while ago, but yeah, I remember. I think they just want to get this guy out of the graveyard. Dude, I can pump this guy to like 7,000 damage. It's unreal, dude. It's... It's the craziest thing you'll ever experience. Are you ready for it? Mm -hmm. Do you want to see it happen? I do. It's going to be wild, dude. It's going to be wilding out. What was the last card? Deals one damage or something. I would, I would cry. You want to see that? Yeah. I'll show it to you. Oh! oh, oh, oh! oh. We went too far. Oh, no. We went too far. Oh, no. <laughs> what have I done? Oh, Jesus. God. <laughs> I just kept clicking. Oh, crying out loud, man. <laughs> Dang it, Bobby. Now you're going to sacrifice your... Oh, I guess that makes sense. He's got to escape. Oh my god, that was amazing. That was amazing. That's that was I can't even it's like I can't even feel bad about that. I feel like there's not that's something that couldn't happen in real life. Like in that paper, would never happen in, in paper, real life. Yeah. You would just be like, was this toughness one? Alright, I'll do it again. One hundred million did sound high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crying out loud, dude. They would have been a five right now. Jesus. I still think you're in good shape, but but not not emotionally. Not emo <laughs> <laughs> emotionally. I'm pretty. I'm pretty rough right now, man. Are you counter my guy? That's rude. Can you just do it again? No, you're short. Don't call me short, bro. That's insulting. I still think we're fine, but now they have three cards, so they can get this guy back again. Well. True. <laughs> well, true. Yep, that's rough. Uh, where I got the lucky, lucky, lucky. My friend Spencer Carlson actually made it for me. Nope, that's not it. Lucky, 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 lucky. <sighs> I would have played that first, so then you got a better choice of what to. Okay. This guy can't block, but this... Hmm. I guess we can kill this. That seems good, right? Uh-huh. All right, well, we're getting in there for three. Oh, boy. This is going to be close. They'd be so dead. They'd be at two right now. They'd be dead.
Oh, go to six. I feel safe. What if he comet storms you? Jesus, that'd be just absolutely brutal. I'd cry. Do you really want to hurt me? Is your name really Michael B? <laughs> Stop singing songs about me, man. <laughs> God. Is that really what you want, though? Yes. Really? No. Okay. So I just got a one here. What can they do? I would block. That seems super greedy. How many cards do they have they can actually kill us with? I don't know, but why, why risk it? You just block and then kill them. Because if the they back. play any creature, I think their odds are higher than of having a creature. They play a creature, they can block one of these two, right? And then we don't, they don't, we don't, we don't win. They block three, four, they take two, they go to one. I think the odds are higher of them having a creature than of having a, a, something that deals us one extra damage. Hmm. And primarily blue-black. Because if we have three guys, any blocker, they, have, they can block here, they still, take, they still die. So, like, you're taking a risk that, like, their odds are higher of drawing a random creature than they are of drawing a removal spell that can so kill us. So, what you're us. saying is you got to risky for the bisky. That's exactly what I'm saying, yeah. Nice. Michael B. Oi, George. That's true. Yeah, they could have Omen, sure, but they could also have any creature on no splash whatsoever. Like, that's my point. I'm not saying there's nothing they can have. I'm saying the odds are higher that they have... A creature than a random red spell that deals us an extra one point of damage. Well, no splash, no cry. He sings songs that remind him of the Mike B. He sings songs that remind him of the Barbobbly Boo. Well done. Well done. That's Chumbawamba. You can just ask if they have... That's a good point. Remember that time I killed my guy? He was a 6-1, and then I was like, I'm just going to put him in the graveyard. Yeah, that was hilarious. I'm going to spend when more... When you clicked man. on him again, I was like, I was about to say something, but you were too quick. You're like, well, maybe you shouldn't do that. I did it anyway, though. We went through... Got like 7,000 damage. It's unreal, dude. It's It's the craziest thing you'll ever experience. Are you ready for it? Do you want to see it happen? I do. It's going to be wild, dude. It's going to be wild and out. <laughs> this clip is so the long. Card deals one damage or something. I would, I would cry. You want to see that? Yeah. I'll show it to you. Oh! oh, oh <laughs> we went too far. Oh, that's good. Oh, my God, dude. We went too far. Jesus. It's true. It's so weird. Look, they play this card and it puts two cards, top two cards, your library into your graveyard. One of them goes underneath it. The other one goes on top of it. It's so weird. That is not how that should work. Why does it do that? That's a cool little, uh, that's what's known as a, that's what's known as a funeral rites sandwich. You put a card on top and a card on the bottom. Funeral rites is the meat of the funeral rites sandwich. Not that anyone would ever play that card in Legacy, but if they did, it would actually be important. Affinity, dude, you are, you are my hero. played your mom in legacy did you win no she's she's talented she's a worthy competitor yeah oh, okay that makes sense that makes sense muggle b <gasps> volume is all the way up it does sound a little lower though i wonder wonder why that turtle's on the ledge let me know if this, if this, let me see if this does anything. Hold on one second, guys. Turtles on the ledge, tur turtles on the ledge, turtles on the ledge. That doesn't do anything. Turtles on the ledge. 
All right, I increased the gain just a little bit. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, but... Did it do something? I don't think it did anything. I don't think the thing I previously did did anything. I increased the gain just a little bit, so it should be a little bit higher. I don't know if that's better. If it's a net positive or not, but... They bounced your idiot. Primaris Powerhouse, what's going on, my dude? They did. Don't call him an idiot, Michael. Yeah, you sound right. like his father. <laughs> God damn. Turtles on the ledge. Tur turtles on the ledge. 2020 10. Tur turtles on the ledge. 2020 10. Turtles on the ledge. Wow. What do you know what I'm saying? Don't even act like you don't. They're going to deny this guy. Don't even try to act. The number of cards in in these matchups that have been denied the divine is like 4,000 and... Four. Hey, look. It's a flash flying 4-5 that has other abilities on it. Well, we do get to kill it with Omen, which is not terrible. Twenty twenty ten, chicka chicka black blah, chicka bear chicka bear chicka bear, 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 get a one one out of the deal. You see that one one I got? Frank and Mike, how are you today? Also, how much would one have to donate for you to make a video of you putting on pants over pants, asking for a friend? What do you think I do with my life? That's an aggressive horse. That horse is aggressive. Sing about turtles on the ledge. Turtles on the ledge. Tur turtles on the ledge. Everybody knows these are turtles on the ledge. The song is good because everybody knows that they're turtles on a ledge. You know what I mean? I'm actually going to play flummoxed cyclops. <coughs> this guy is so flummoxed. It's unreal. Turtles on the ledge. Where are the turtles? You know what that's from, Michael? Uh, Jurassic Park. Hey, you. Guys, get out of here. Where are the turtles? <laughs> I don't remember that <laughs> at all. <laughs> It's a good one, Michael. Where'd my guy go? Where do they keep going with my guy? Oh, they killed it. Turtles on the ledge. Ain't no big surprise. It's like Love on the Rocks. You know that song? It's a Neil Diamond song. You know Neil Diamond? You don't? Yeah, man. We're best friends. You're best friends with Neil Diamond? Yeah. Well, not maybe not best friends, but we're pretty close. It's insane. That's wild. Look, it's getting dark outside. You know what? I will block. Because I'm tired of being abused by this horse. He's just going to escape it. That's fine. Bring him back. I'll get rid of him forever. forever. Go ahead. Try to kill this guy. I'll kill him myself. Won't be the first time. Hmm. Turtles on the ledge, Michael. Tur turtles on the ledge. Oh, my God. <laughs> you started it. You're, right, I did. You're the one who sang Turtles on the Ledge for the very first time. I thought Neil Diamond was Michael's B's dad. Michael's B's dad. <laughs> That's his B's dad. What are you doing here? You got two cards in hand. Good um, games. I'm playing it sometimes. I watch on YouTube. Uh, oh, someone I watch on YouTube all the time. Turtles on the ledge. Tur turtles on the ledge. All right, 2-1. I'll take it. I'll take another 2-1 because it feels like we're not doing as terribly in this format despite, again, several misplays. I feel like I'm making more misplays because I feel like I'm being more distracted by the stream and the streaming and the action 
But either way, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklapore. Patreon.com slash franklapore. Uh, Manatraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service for, pay for Pioneer decks if you want to rent those. Modern decks, standard decks, whatever you need. Uh, it's a great subscription service. You can get 20% off the first three months with the link and promo code down below. So check that out. And Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.